The Flag Roos are back. I'm your host, Alex. Oh, wait. I'm not Alex Donnelly. I don't have a creepy mustache. And my team actually won the grand final. I'm your host today, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. Fired up from that North winning the grand final of the AFLW. Absolutely pumped to be here with Olivia Spicer. Jumping on the show again. Let's Thank go. you, Olivia. Flag Roos. You've been saying it all year, I'm, Flag Roos, on the socials, yeah, and it's finally happened. It's finally happened. <laughs> go North. Go North. Undefeated. <laughs> so pumped. I I can't believe it. I've got the North jersey on. I look like a big nuffy. From when he was like 10 years old. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you can't really tell on here, but it might be a little bit tight under the arms, but don't worry about that. Anything goes on this show, I'm pretty sure. I'm running it. North won. Who cares? And Alex, Alex ditched us, but that's okay. Yeah. No, Bryony as well. We always love having Bryony mm -hmm. and Alex on the show, but we are running the show today and I'm going to go full North Nuffy mode. Welcome to the AFLW Today Show, your favorite one-stop shop for the greatest game in the world. This is a grand final wrap-up from Saturday. So we were there watching the game. Olivia was watching it back home and mm -hmm. really, good really good fun mm -hmm. watching that. Uh, yeah, joining me as always is Olivia. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the main thing that we're trying to do here. That's AFL Today. Get around the socials, Olivia. You run the socials. Yeah, AFLW Today on all socials pretty much. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, heaps of stuff. Graphics galore. We got, oh, sorry, Gerald. We got a lot coming out still uh, to finish off the season nicely. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be doing lots of content from the grand final. We're going to have little clips. We filmed a lot of stuff at the game. Yep. There's so much going on. We got access to the ground. It's going to be good. It was awesome. So, And I'm going good. to the Carlton Best and Fairest on Thursday night. So I'll do a little vlog. Stay tuned for that, guys. That, yeah, that must be, must be nice. Again, be moving nice. up in the world. Yeah, moving up in the world. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, we usually say, can you smell it? Footy's back. This is the longest period without footy until the men's season starts and then it the is. women's season. This is sad. It sad is time. sad. No more footy for a while. For a, for a nice nap. Yeah, give for a nap after a lot of A-fun content. Fair enough. All right. As always, we're going to start with a quick look. Honestly, I'm just going to keep saying this all show. Flag ruse is complete. We go through the season, the first team ever undefeated through Crazy. 11 games, then through finals, then through the grand final. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely pumped. I'm keen to get on those, uh, no no free sponsors, but the the North Melbourne beers, they look yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Might have to get some of those. Uh, yeah, undefeated through 14 games, just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Olivia. Crazy. Well, I mean, the first AFL team, AFLW team to go undefeated in the VFL, AFL or AFLW history. Yes, yes. Um, insane. 14 games. So annoying about that draw to July. I know. Right? Just like, <laughs> yeah, it's I know it's still undefeated, but like, oh, that would have been nice to have that win there. Yeah. But um, yeah, you can't. Oh, I'm just so happy for the girls. It's honestly insane. I'm not even a North Melbourne supporter, but I felt like I was a North yeah, supporter I saw, this year. Yeah, I feel like even Alex said that on the weekend when we were at the game, that everyone sort of got behind North. Yeah. Like. I know a lot of people go, oh, they're a small club. Like, we're a club that hasn't won anything in in the men's or women's yeah. since 1996, which I'll touch on. Uh, and there were so many fans there, like, not just, like, the big Nuffy fans. So many North fans yeah. are there. Even just around the city, there was lots of North fans. Yeah. Very excited. Just, just to believe in something. Like, I know. the women's team, just as a North fan, has got us so excited because the men's team has not done anything <laughs> like that. Like, the women's team is carrying us yeah. at the moment. And I'm absolutely yeah, the very men grateful can, for them. Men can probably take a note out of the women's book. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah, it's nice. It's great to see. It's just good good vibes, especially losing last year to Brisbane I know. to get that revenge. Revenge. Re Actually, that's yeah. another part of the quick look. We haven't even talked about revenge. We are back. Alex <laughs> loves talking about revenge. Uh, Brisbane, we'll touch on this later, but they won't be as disappointed, I think. They've had a as flag. They've had a lot of flags. They've Some of them have played in six grand yeah, finals, exactly. so they'll be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Next one I want to look at in the quick look is a few little stats. Libby Birch is the first <laughs> AFLW or AFL player to win a premiership at three different that's clubs. Wild. So anywhere she goes, just she wins. wins flags. I know I'm I'm more of a fan of loyalty. I like when people say <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like That's a good point. But I mean good I guess her. she's yeah. walking around with three medals in her neck and yeah. not many other no one else can say that. Yeah. Then so, I heard someone say, Oh, is she gonna go to another club next year and win probably, another club? Yeah. I think she'll stay in North. She yeah. seemed pretty happy, but you never know. The best part of uh, Libby getting a medal, I don't know if you saw this, Olivia, the Auskick kid, as as the Auskick girl was putting the uh, medal over her, said, that's, that's, three, that's three, Libby, yeah, that's I three, Libby. That I'm like, cute. I don't know if her mum or dad's like, yeah. oh, say this to Libby. Yeah. <laughs> and Olivia just had a little giggle. That and was the, cute. The little girl is making little jokes on the stage. Yeah, I, nah, I love when they put the mics on. Some of them are very cringe if they get the hat wrong. No. Wow, we talked about this uh, while, while we're on the ground watching the um, presentation. We went through all 20, I think there was 25 or 23 people went up. Yep. All of them did the shake the hand, the oh, cap right. Good Because in the men's, like, there's about oh, half that are Oh, it's so bad. I actually get the ick every year. <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah, that's a good point. You can get get the ick. They're putting the hat on wrong. Yeah, or they, or they don't just shake don't the shake the hand. I feel like the girls know what to do better, in yeah, my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Well, as we've as I've said on a lot of our interviews, yeah. I think the girls in the women's footy are a bit more switched on yep, than the young men. But, um, that's in general that's, life. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting into that. That's a different podcast, I reckon. Uh, <laughs> next one I want to touch on. I mentioned this before. The last North Melbourne flag was in the men's in 1996. Darren Crocker, the men, uh, women's coach now, played in that game. Yep. 
And now he's uh, the second coach ever to win a men's premiership and then coach a women's premiership. Amazing yeah. stuff. So, nah, he seems great. Nah, yeah. I don't know too much about him, obviously, because I'm not a North fan, but yeah. nah, from all the interviews and press conferences I've seen. Yeah, yeah he was excited. already a North legend. Like Everyone sort of yeah. loved him, and now he's become an yeah, awesome women's coach. Got coach of the year this year. Mm -hmm. Seems very connected to the players. I know a lot of – most coaches would yeah. – but I think that's a big part of winning a premiership. Big Clarko was there as well. As Clarko well. was and there. Yeah. Him and Fags. Fags were there. Fags big O were, from Brisbane. The big was there. O was there. <laughs> Everyone was there. Yeah. Like I think uh the support from the men's, not just in the finals, I think from uh Brisbane and mm -hmm. uh North. North. Cheezel, I think it's called. Cheezel yeah. was there, Luke McDonald, the captain, mm -hmm. was there. Uh the support for yeah, as one club. I think um Darren Crocker said that in the yeah. in his uh, speech, just said how, how it's one club. Mm -hmm. I really like how I think the last couple of years most AFLW and AFL teams have sort of yeah. come together a bit mm -hmm. more. And I think that helps success. Oh, that's what I think because some clubs, I don't think I'll like that. No. Um, yeah, you probably would see that with the success levels. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I think with North, they're, they're just like one club mm. and really team building and, yeah, getting around it, which is good. Yeah, I think a lot of clubs, like you said, maybe not all clubs are to that level. So as the maybe even next year, a lot of clubs should be looking yeah. at what North, Brisbane, maybe Adelaide, I'd say, mm -hmm. are doing to, like, yeah, grow that and grow the game. Next one I want to talk about, we talked about Croc speech. Uh, Carney was very funny. I saw the oh, clip after yeah. the game. She, because she's the captain of North mm -hmm. Melbourne, she was on the bench in the last no, minute. No, they're like, she's like, screaming. Get me she's on. like, get me back on. I'm the captain. <laughs> I'm the best player. Get me back on the ground. I want to own it. They, she probably wanted the photo on yeah. the ground. Yeah. And she was so funny. And yeah. she at first asked uh, Libby Birch. I heard yeah. she was talking. And Libby was not coming off. She no. was like, no, nah, I'm not coming off. I want to be on the ground. <laughs> then she pulled off uh, Erica O'Shea, a bit yeah. younger player. So she got her off. Uh, that was just a very funny nah, moment. <laughs> Emma deserves to be on the ground. Yeah. Come on, man. She's a legend. Man. Yeah, she's yeah. a legend. And wait, wait, friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. Yeah, yeah we got nah, a lot of friends of the pod. We actually. do have a lot of friends of the pod. Nah, well, she was well, lovely when we filmed with her. Yeah, um, uh, and then she had a great speech as well. I think yeah, I love she that. She referenced uh, the first night grand final on the women's. Yes. She said, oh, should we have that in the men's? And everyone had yeah, a bit of a giggle at the ground. Uh, so on that, the first night grand final ever uh, in mm -hmm. AFLW. Yeah, and then it has happened in the men, but that was in lockdown and things like that. Was it a big tick and do we think it I needs think to happen in the men's? big tick for the women's. Yep. I think it works well for the women's. Yep. I'm just a big fan of the day grand final for the men's personally. So I think am I, everyone yeah, gets yeah. around at three o'clock, you know, you get the barbecue going. <laughs> yeah. It's just good vibes. Yeah, you got a whole day out of it. whole day. I think the women's game isn't obviously as big as the men's yep. as we know. So I think keeping it to the women's for the night grand final. I think I it was good for TV crowds, yep. things like that. And the actual ground icon park is mm -hmm. really, really good at night. Yeah. Like you can get a bit of uh, – that one side, the old stand side, mm -hmm. when I was sitting there a couple of weeks ago in the sun, yeah. you couldn't even see because yeah. the sun was right there. So I don't mind that mm -hmm. being a night grand final. Yeah, it I was really fun. They, I reckon they should keep doing it for the women's mm. um, and then see how it goes. But and they yeah, definitely, uh, I don't know what the budget was on fireworks, but that really? felt like <laughs> the AFL just poured in like a yeah. million dollars. Like the fireworks <laughs> really? when the um, players went on the stage. Oh my gosh. I felt like it was gone for about 10 minutes and everyone was like, <laughs> wow. I thought, oh wait, this is a lot of fireworks. fireworks. So I don't know how the, what the budget is on fireworks, <laughs> but it was really awesome. Uh, next moment I want to talk about, i tell you this a quick look. Every time I run a quick look. It's never it's like a quick look. A, we're you, almost mate. there. We're almost there. Uh, great moment. Imogen Mulgrew, who just, uh, got cured from leukemia, mm -hmm. was on the stage to present the so Premiership cute. Cup. Yeah. Very cute. She was awesome. And like, not just like handed to them, lifted up lifted as well up, and, them. I, and as they lifted it up, there's a photo. I'm oh, to I chuck it. it up. She's getting lifted up with the yeah. cup pretty much and they're just going up. She got to hug all the players. Yeah, and then getting the photo, the team photo. Yeah. I saw Carney moved out of the front to make sure she was like looked after. Yeah, she's um, awesome and uh, yeah, obviously fought through a lot. The players mm -hmm. went there the other week to ring the bell with so her at the cute. hospital. Uh, and then I feel like, yeah, that was a great touch. Sometimes you get past players or things like that, yeah. which is great. Mm -hmm. But for someone that loves the club, the whole family loves the club, yeah. they've been involved with the club, the club's been involved with her. That's just nah, that's a little story. Very wholesome. Yeah. It's mm, nice. Very wholesome. Last one I want to talk about. We always talk about the grand final entertainment. Mm -hmm. I do like Lime Cordial. Same. And they were solid. Mm -hmm. But I just don't know if they were the right band to pump us up. Last year we had G Flip. G Flip's yeah. just rocking on the drums, yeah. <laughs> going absolutely ham. Lime Cordial, I don't know. Robbery, good song. I like Robbery. It's a good yeah? song. Yeah, I don't know a few yeah. Insta Insta stories. Instagram yeah, stories. Yeah. And I was like, it would be funny if North, like, Oh, is robbery. that what? Yeah, yeah, robbery. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, it didn't happen. It's all right. But it was didn't happen. Um, but yeah, like I'm Cordial. It was good on TV, but I, I wasn't there, obviously. So mm. you probably talking about more. But it was no Katy Perry. Yeah, it was no <laughs> Katy Perry. I think yeah, she. Did the know, budget's a bit small. Yeah, a bit small. <laughs> and I like how we have sort of local yeah. local bands. As uh, Jim on AFL today would be loving that. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a quick look. That's enough chat about Lime Cordial. They've got enough money probably, so we, we don't have to talk about them. <laughs> Let's get into my favorite part of the show today. North Melbourne winning. The grand final game wrap. That was Saturday at 7.45. Everyone piled in there. It was packed. I think we got there really early mm -hmm. to go into the uh,
what what is that chant? It sounds horrible. <laughs> I was like, yeah, don't worry, don't. You, don't, you don't want to know that one. It's yeah. just it's very cringe. Uh, but yeah, North Melbourne six goals three thirty nine defeat mm-hmm. Brisbane one goal three nine. Again, we've talked about. I know that uh, North have an awesome offense. Mm. But the defense, defense was insane. Again, they conceded less than eighteen. There, I think the average one throughout goal, the whole season like, was seventy. They conceded yeah. one goal no. to Brisbane <laughs> in a grand final. In a grand final, and it wasn't even just North were everywhere. They North were everywhere. everywhere. Like as soon as Brisbane had a sniff of the ball, yeah, it was taken away from them. Yeah, no, it was insane. Like Dakota Davidson, they pinned her down. They oh. learned their lesson from last year, yep. and they were like, "Nah, she's not getting these goals this year." I reckon that was. You could tell in the first quarter, mm-hmm. like Dax obviously got best on yep. last year. Got the two goals that sealed the game. Unbelievable. She's an unbelievable player, mm-hmm. but she only had two disposals. Yeah. They sort of rotated Libby Birch oh, early two. on. Two. I thought it was him. That's crazy. Yeah. I had a look because yeah. uh, I thought it was one because she had yeah. one up until the very like That's last so bit of the game. Bad. Really bad, but oh, I, I couldn't believe it because she's such a superstar. Yeah. Libby Birch was amazing on mm-hmm. her. Uh, Sarah Wright really stepped up. I think that, I'm going to talk about that. That was the best game of her career. Yep. Jazz Ferguson even was the last uh, person on defense as well. Mm-hmm. She was awesome. Actually, shout out to Jazz Ferguson's dad. Yeah, uh, was Alex a beer apparently. So he'll be <laughs> he'll be watching. I think yeah, I think Alex owes him a beer as well for just Probably. giving us shout outs all the time. Yeah, um, yeah, but unbelievable that she only got two disposals and mm-hmm. that was the tactics going in for North just seemed really strong. I think Dax is a really good runner, so they kept rotating yeah. her on. But the only thing that uh, we we're talking about at the game. Should Dax have been put into the midfield or I think so? Yeah. Even though she's pretty tall, she could crash but and bash in there. She, she played would a bit have, of yeah, got the tackles, you know, getting the yeah. ball, just get those get grabs. Her involved, yeah, yeah, get her involved. But yeah. she was nowhere. And nah. like I expected her to as we've spoken about on the previous shows, and as Bryony said, big game player. Dax oh, yeah. is a big game player. But North North knew what they were doing. They so. did. So uh one thing I want to touch on, there was amazing pressure early from both teams. Bella Dawes from yes. Bella Dawes from uh uh, Brisbane, the double smother. That like, was so cool. The, you could tell it was a grand final yeah. just from that first little bit of the first quarter. She went for the smother, then she like crawled over, yeah. went for another one. That was really good. And then North kicked the yeah first three goals of the yes. game and everyone's like, Ooh. Alice O'Loughlin, wow. Let's just touch on her. That was insane. <laughs> She's insane. so good. Yeah. Two goals in the first quarter. Two like, goals in the first quarter. I think uh. Tess Craven had one of her best quarters ever. Yeah. She got the first goal first of the goal. game. Uh, I was so nervous. I was uh, mm-hmm. yeah, sitting with my family. I think it was even my grandma. I was like, why did she run in? She couldn't run in for the open goal. Literally. But she backed herself for the set yep. shot. And in a grand final, there's a lot of noise. noise. You just want to take your time. Take your time. Maybe because like uh, the famous Nick Rewalt one mm-hmm. in the men's grand final where he runs in and uh, yep. he's sure smothers yeah. him. You don't know who's around yeah. you. So... Respect to uh, Tess Craven for just taking the set shot. She got the first goal. But yeah, Alice O'Loughlin. We so can talk good. about her. Yeah. Three goals. Three goals. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, just she was everywhere. Yeah. She was there. Right spot, right time, the commentators kept saying. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, no, very good. Um, just, yeah, overall. She was probably one of my stand-up players. Yeah, well. she was for sure. I, I always forget how young she is. I think she's and only Vicky like – Vicky Wall as well. Great. Vicky Wall, two goals. Yeah, so we'll get – we might as well touch on some of the players in a second. Yeah. But, actually, I'll, I'll go through a lot on the three other things. we got Emma Carney back to her best. Yeah. Obviously I had, I think, Carney. seven or eight weeks out. Yep. Last week she looked cooked. I'm like, oh, I don't oh, know if I actually know. know she should be playing in the grand final. Mm-hmm. Then she's uh, hitting amazing bullet passes, yep. balking everyone. She was everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Literally, how many disposals in the year? 23, like 23 I think. Yeah. Disposals? That's her yeah. most, I think, all yeah. season, yeah. No, insane. She was everywhere. To come back from injury mm-hmm. and just, like, put her foot down and be like, I am the captain of the team. <laughs> I am the captain now. I am the captain. <laughs> Look at me. I am the captain. Um, <laughs> she was so nah, good. She was great. She was everywhere. Really led the team, you know, role model for all the younger players as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah, one definitely one was a best. standout for yep. me. Uh, and then from uh, Brisbane side, so North really good on the counterattack, sort of, Everyone pushed up to help back on defense, mm-hmm. and then the speed was was just awesome. Yeah. You got the likes of uh, yeah, Craven was really good. You've got Ashra Dal and Garner, which we'll touch on. <gasps> just still the best, the best duo. duo. I think they what did they combine for in there? Twenty well, uh, nine. Well, I'm trying to think of yeah, the maths. It was <laughs> sixty four. That's what it was. There you go. Yeah. Sixty four. Thirty five and twenty nine. Was it? Maths yeah. is not my uh, strong suit. Oh, that's mate. why I'm on a uh, yeah. podcast, not doing anything to do with maths. <laughs> but sixty four disposals between them. Yeah. Also, I think that's about uh, fifteen clearances between them as well. So. Unbelievable uh, so by good. them, which we'll touch on in some mm-hmm. of the player stats. Brie Conan, I thought, was pretty solid uh, for Brisbane. She's always Yeah, she solid. was solid, obviously. Did what she needed to do. Came down in defense a lot. Defense yeah. a lot. That's mm. where I noticed her the most um, mm-hmm. on the TV. Yep. Um, she was great, but I think, I mean, North and just North. Yeah. Again, so. Yeah. The ta- I thought the tactics were strong. Then Brisbane tried to shut the game down. So second and third quarters, yep. there was only one goal. Which yeah, that's true. Which was a bit frustrating to watch because North's like, they weren't yet at that comfortable level well, where well, you're like, oh, they've already the won one. because obviously Brisbane last Two year came back Two goals from, and it could have been. Yeah, if Brisbane kicked one goal in that second or third quarter, mm-hmm. they were, the game was on, but they just got stuck on that one goal for yeah, the whole game. The, and, yeah. I, can't, I mean, yeah, North's defense was just great, but I think the third quarter, 
maybe North. I don't know if they got tired, but it, yeah, Brisbane definitely stepped up their game. Mm. The, um, they I could tell the coach. What's the coach's name again for the Brisbane? Ah, uh, Stasovic. So he was yeah, getting yeah, angry Starsovic. in he the was, box, yeah, man. Yeah, he, was. he was angry. I think he must have had a good talking to them. Yeah. Um, trying to shut them down and just yeah play that more defensive role, Brisbane, rather than the attacking. But mm -hmm. um. Yeah, it just obviously didn't work in the end. He said after the game, which I don't know if it's a bit of a cop-out, he mm -hmm. said the first half of North Melbourne was the best first half of any uh, AFRW team he's ever seen. Which North were really good in the first quarter. I wouldn't say the second quarter yeah, they were they amazing. Were... It was very pressure, yeah. pressure filled, and their defense was really good. Mm -hmm. but I feel like, I don't know if that's a bit of a cop-out just because, oh, we lost because they well, played the best game ever. they were talking up about it that they're like, we can, don't, we're not thinking of the smashing back in round one. We can beat North Melbourne. It's like... Yeah, of course you're going to sell it to the media. But yeah, like, yeah. deep down, like, this is the best team we've ever seen in AFLW history. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, I can't believe we're saying that about no, no. North, North Melbourne. Melbourne team. It's so exciting. I, I can't stop even thinking about it. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just, I haven't slept since that yeah. day, so let's get around it. Uh, some key stats before I get into some player stats. We've got 16 of the top 19 ball winners were North players. Okay, just makes sense. Oh, but that's yeah, like that's crazy. unheard I know. of. Unheard yeah. of. Uh, another one, which on that, mm -hmm. North had 108 more disposals. 17 more inside 50s and 11 more clearances. Wow. The big one is the 108 more disposals. Alex and I were looking at that. That's a that. lot. We had 30 more than them in the first quarter. Usually in the first quarter, you yeah. can't really split the disposals mm -hmm. because it's so early. Yeah. 108 more disposals. North North could hit the targets and yep. Brisbane going forward. And, and That's what I noticed. Putting, it was yeah. scrappy for Brisbane every yeah. time they tried to find it to get the ball out. Mm -hmm. With North, they were just in the right place at the right time. They were able yep. to link up and get the disposal. The quick push hands. Forward, quick hands. Yep. Move it forward and get it down to the players they need to inside 50. Yeah, I think a lot of those disposals were the quick hands. The run off half back and then run yep. off the wings. The likes of Amy Smith was really good. Uh, for another friend of the mm -hmm. show. Uh, just the, yeah, the quick hands from Carney, Gat, uh, not Gat, uh, Eric O'Shea mm -hmm. was really good in there. And then the last one, the Lions surprisingly led the tackles by 11. Yeah. But then if you look, North had 108 more disposals. So, so they, would, they had a disposal lot more time to tackle. Yeah. was better than, yeah. <laughs> yes. Which is pretty funny. All right, before we get into some of the uh, star players in this uh, game wrap, I'm just going to have a look at the best on ground award. Finally, Jazzy Garner, Jazzy Garner gets her recognition. <laughs> the absolute goat. I was drinking uh, some goat beers at the yeah, game. Uh, uh, not a sponsor. Uh, and I was like, oh, I'm drinking a few Jazzy, Jazzy Garners Jazzy here tonight. She's the absolute goat. Uh, yeah. North Post just goaded with her two medals. Yeah. Awesome, awesome effort. She's so humble and yeah, yeah. so happy for her. 35 disposals, 13 tackles, 10 clearances mm -hmm. at the ground. If I'm being honest, I didn't notice that she had 35 mm -hmm. disposals, probably because she was in and under. Yep. But then when you look back at the highlights and things yeah, like that, on she TV, was everywhere. I noticed it was yeah. her, Carney and Riddell for me. That just everywhere. They were just everywhere. They mm -hmm. had the ball every five seconds. Um, so you reckon she well-deserved yeah, I think on? it was well-deserved, especially after the snubbing at the W. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, exactly. She deserved that medal. She's She's been there all year as well. Obviously, the best on ground award is just for that game. Yep. But you just look at the whole season. Jazzy has been there everywhere. I think her average, averaging 30 disposals or more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was about, yeah, 29 or something yeah, like that. Something yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, she's just been everywhere. Very impressive. I'm glad yeah. she won it. She lifted her tackles as well because mm. I think she usually gets about six or seven, yeah. but she's gone up to 13 when North had most of the ball. Just the pressure early was awesome. Mm -hmm. The clear 10 clearances, just yeah. unbelievable. Um, and, yeah, she's so humble. I think we were talking after the game as well. She'd rather a uh, premiership medal and a yeah. best on ground medal than uh, the W. She won't be caring yeah, about the W. now. She'd be drinking out of the yeah. cup. And uh, yeah, absolutely loving it. The cup actually, which I was talking about before, mm -hmm. is a lot bigger than the men's one. Yeah, it looks one. wider. You can fit a lot of more spicy kombuchas <laughs> in there. I don't know if we're, what we're allowed to talk about on this show, but <laughs> you could fit a lot more uh, <laughs> solos or whatever you want to want to put in there because it's so much bigger. Yeah. So I like that. I'm sure they had a fun night. There. Yeah, they would have had a fun. Night. I saw they were at Arden Street last yeah. night at the ground. <laughs> I bet you some North fans would have tried to sneak oh, around there. <laughs> was it you? Yeah, maybe was I was you, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I saw him there. I drove past. <laughs> I was like, oh, should I have a drink? Nah, no, that's a bit weird. Uh, the star players. So we talked about the best on ground, but I just wrote down the best players. I'll start with the Brisbane players because mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately they didn't win, but there were some players that still did really well. Yep. Ali Anderson had 25 disposals and 14 mm -hmm. tackles. I really thought she stepped up. Mm -hmm. Another friend of the show we interviewed her during the week. First half especially when the game yep, was more I on the agree. line. I was noticing this. Or O'Dwyer of halfback yep. and on wings. 22 disposals. I thought she was everywhere. She was everywhere. everywhere. No, yeah. she was great doing yeah. what, probably carrying the team in my opinion. She was, the start. yeah. Um, yeah. 22, to get 22 disposals when um, we, we, I'm not even North Melbourne fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we. I've got to live here on the no, North Melbourne fan. No, I'm a blue bag oh, of my life. Got, oh, this is funny. Alex was saying this on, um, <laughs> Why is it, I feel like on the weekend. W. He's like, oh, I feel like I go for North. No, yeah. you're not allowed to go for North. <laughs> you, do not, you didn't support them all year. Oh, now because they're good, everyone supports yeah. North. But. We'll take any supporters, to um, be fair. Yeah, we you have, it. like, none. It's just, <laughs> oh, just you and your mate in the corner, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, she was awesome. No, no, she was great, so, yeah, definitely. But getting on the North Melbourne side, the stats 
I think some of these are off mm-hmm. the charts. Alice O'Loughlin, she was unbelievable in the finals. Had a couple of three-goal games. Three goals, eight tackles for a small forward. Yep. That's what you want. Ashra Dahl was awesome. 29 disposals, seven tackles. Mm-hmm. Emma Carney, just Everywhere. awesome. 23 disposals and three successful candy sales. Yeah. I don't know if, you know if that's on the stat that's- sheet, but I'm putting that on my stat sheet because she literally sent them to get us. She's like, yeah. oh, can you just go and get me some chips? <laughs> Bang. I'm going to handball it around. Go I and get me some that. chips. I absolutely love that. She was so good. Well, Eliza Riley on the, yes. she tipped. Alice O'Loughlin for three plus goals. So she did calls. actually. Because I like I think uh a lot of the time we get yeah uh, hung up on disposals, clearances yeah. and stuff. Alice O'Loughlin was definitely up there. I think she was fourth in the voting. Mm-hmm. Uh we're trying to we, the, some of the media people in the media room voted on the thing. We're trying to get oh, wink, uh, yeah. wink twice if it's if it's yeah, this it's person. person. It's <laughs> so we sort of had an inkling that it yeah. was uh Jazz Garner, but I think Alice was right up there. It was Riddell, uh O'Loughlin, mm-hmm. Carney, and obviously Jazz yes. Garner were in the top four. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Emma Carney, we touched on. Sarah Wright, I think that was her best ever game. Her career high disposals in 20 disposals, seven marks, mm-hmm. and so many intercepts. I'm going to touch on that a bit later. I thought she was she was really good as well. Awesome. To finish the game, right? we always do this. How are the fan bases feeling? I'm going to leave this one to you, mate. Bloody awesome. <laughs> we won a flag. My mum was literally crying. My grandma was there. She was loving it. Uh, I saw so many North supporters were there just cheering. Everyone was hugging each other. It's like one of those moments in, in sport, which I absolutely love. You don't even, you, everyone's going nuts. Everyone's high fiving. Yeah. You don't even know each other. Nah, but now, so because good. you're both North fans or yep. you've jumped on the North bandwagon, <laughs> like a lot of people, uh, you're just loving it. So that was awesome. And actually, uh, shout out to Alex's mate, Josh, who jumped on a video yeah, with us. That was cool. He was loving it as well. Uh, he was a li- we're all a little bit nervous still. Yeah, at of course. You don't want to celebrate too early. That's no. the worst thing you can possibly do. But yeah, he was awesome to jump on a video, but everyone was so excited and the vibes. We were very lucky enough to go on the ground. Mm-hmm. The vibes on the ground were just I look sick. I was awesome. jealous of the video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was it was so cool. So that's the vibe of North Melbourne. What do you what do you think the vibe is for Brisbane? I, I don't. Well, in my opinion, they can't be too upset because I agree, they yeah. literally won a flag last year. Yeah, and they've a lot had of them flags. Have won three they've won stuff, three. Yeah. It's not most of the players have won a flag. I don't think they're going to be too too unhappy. Yeah, I think um, at, the t- at the obviously time, on the obviously, weekend they would be. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. long term. Imagine if North lost. Imagine yeah. how they would be feeling. Yeah, and it felt a bit awkward because uh, the stage yeah, was slightly awkward? Yeah. the stage was slightly on the um, Brisbane side. I was trying to take socials and I had my yeah. North scarf on, so I'm standing next to the Brisbane players with my Oops. North scarf. I was like, "This is probably a little bit awkward. Maybe I should take my North scarf." I took my North scarf off for a second yeah. while. I was like standing next to like Dax and all that. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, I feel bad because they're just like on the ground, like really sad, and yeah. I'm just like, "Oh, uh, this is yeah. awesome!" <laughs> and Jake and video. Yeah. <laughs> so I felt bad. I was like, all right, "I'm going to uh, shuffle to the North." You're like side my dreams this. come true. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was awesome being on there, but yeah. I agree. I think Brisbane Brisbane fans shouldn't be disappointed. Yep. Uh, okay. I'll take that back. They can be disappointed well, because they only scored one goal in a grand yeah, final. Yeah, but they also have the men's flag at the moment. The men's flag. And then they, they had, had the, the women's, women's last year. Yeah. So Give it to someone else. You know, give it to someone else. <laughs> and then the, yeah, You don't first... need it all the time, yep, you know? I agree. And I think they can still be right up there. They they literally had an off yeah. game. Oh, at their best, they're going to be... not even off. It's just North so good. Like... North is so good. There we go. Yep. And I think, yeah, they might even... Uh, they have a lot of younger players as well that are coming through. Yep. I genuinely they'll think be they'll be right fine. up there next And they'll year. be right up there again. Yep. Uh, cool. The tipping results. I so have them here. You have them here. So yes. we usually do a best on ground first yep. goal. No mm-hmm. one got first goal no. because Tess Craven kicked her fifth goal of her yeah. career. Uh, and then, yeah, but the tipping result, what have um, we got here? Alex was closest. He okay. had 26 points. Oh. And then it was, oh, was Bryony with 36. <laughs> yep. And then me, it was 11 you were last with the points margin. I was nervous. I just said seven. And then um, Alex and Brian, you said Jazzy Ghana, and no one got first goal. I, I didn't want to be boring and say Jazz Ghana. Yeah, but no. So I went Riddell. Yeah, Riddell was uh, second or third in the voting, yeah. I'm pretty sure, as well. So the tipping results, we all got a tip. Though. Yeah. We all tipped north. I know that was the obvious tip, but yeah. you attempted to tip. I was going to go the upset, but then I was like, <laughs> nah, I kind of want to put that negative energy out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we get uh, into it, best team of the round we usually do. Who was the best mm, team of the round? I wonder. Yeah. Do we reckon. Mm. Brisbane a sneaky shit? No yeah. way. It's the flag ruse. <laughs> the best team of the round. So easy to put that in, in there. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't even yeah. think we needed to put the best team of the round, but I just want to keep saying flag ruse. Flag ruse. Me and my uh, mates and I, and when we talk about sport and someone says flag ruse or flag, mm. I don't know, flag anything, flag something. Bag is or, a flag. Is. Or anything. Ba- <laughs> flag, yeah, bag is a flag. Is. <laughs> For some reason, anytime anyone said that in a chat, yeah. it jinxes the team yeah. and they never win. So oh, I had, okay. I haven't really tried to say that at all, yep. flag ruse. But now I've we, been now typing it way it. too. You've much. been saying it all the time. I'm like, oh, we're gonna jinx North here, aren't we? Yeah, and I think that. Alex was trying to have to be a Sydney he supporter because he wanted you to <laughs> be on the show because yeah. he's still embarrassed from all the pain and the jinxing exactly. that happened, Sydney. And the edits that he got made of him. <laughs> so he was hoping 
To be honest, Actually, it would have yeah. been quite funny if the North did lose. How many edits were you going to make of me oh, if North lost? Oh, there would have been so lost. many. But oh. you weren't as bad as Alex, though, because Alex was full tweaking over to me. Like, <laughs> I was tweaking on Saturday yeah. night, but not, yeah. Like that video that Leo made, after the, that's the, my favourite video ever. <laughs> yeah, check out the AFL Today AU socials and the AFL yeah. W Today socials. That's all good fun. Always, we yeah touch on best on ground of the week. We talked about all the best players. Jazz Garner, I think Jazz Garner got the main award. Yeah, but this is where you want to win. You want to yep. win the AFLW today, best, <laughs> best on ground award. Uh, we're going to touch on maybe away from Jazz yep. Garner because there's a lot of really good North players. Who do you reckon? I'm going to go Riddell. Oh, Riddell okay. or Carney? I'm like, oh, I don't know. But Riddell, Riddell. was just working with Jazzy so much. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, 20, 29 disposals. Twenty nine disposals. Twenty nine yep. disposals and seven tackles. Yeah, yeah, she was great. She was everywhere. They were the one. She was the one that I noticed most on the TV as okay. well with Jazzy and Carney. But yeah, nah, all season as well. She's been great. Yeah, I really like that. I think, yeah, uh, Joshua, we talked at halftime. A few people go, oh, I haven't redu- noticed Riddell that much. But she, similar to Gunner, she does the yep. in and under. She got the quick hand. I watched a lot, a lot, lot of, of the highlights. Yeah. A lot of quick hands out of the contest that you don't really see often when you're at the ground. Yep. And I feel like both of them, uh, Gunner and Riddell, could have like, won, won it. And yeah. He, yeah. Jazzy deserved it though. Yeah, I think Jazzy yeah. deserved it after. Uh, just, oh, she's been an absolute freak for yeah. so long. My best on ground of the week. Now, we don't give Backman enough love or back <laughs> yeah. uh, backline players because yeah. I am a Backman myself and I'm like, we're going to need to give some love. Yeah. There needs to be an award for the back <laughs> the ba- uh, defenders and things yeah. like that. Uh, we always shout out Jazz Ferguson. She was great. Mm-hmm. We've got uh, Libby Birch was great. Yep. But another level, probably her best game of her career in terms of disposals, 20 disposals for Sarah Wright. Yeah. She was unbelievable. Good chap. I think she had 12 intercept possessions, which is easily the most on the ground. She was absolutely awesome. So many intercept marks going back with the flight. Yep. She got in front of Dax a couple of times to take marks. Quick uh, hands got involved in uh, some of the goals on the counter attack. Yeah, as soon as she the ball got to her, she was able to shut it down, get, yeah. get away from the Brisbane players, and yeah, it really held down that back line. So, no. It was just a classic... Yeah, uh, defenders sort of game. And defenders don't get enough plaudits, I think, yep. in uh, in AFL in general. So I think she's my best on ground of the week. All right. Awesome. Are, are we done? Are we I don't, done? Want, I don't I want, want this to end. Nah. Oh, I don't Stuff, want to end. I want to be talking about North Fraser. I'm going to be wearing this top forever. <laughs> I'm going to be drinking some of those North Melbourne uh, spicy kombuchas. And we'll be absolutely loving it. <laughs> nah. I'll, I'll be at Arden Street if you can't find yeah. me. Yeah, happy for you, Sats guy. You Thank got you. your flag, <laughs> mate. Everyone jump on the North Barrier. <laughs> Olivia's jumping on it. Gerald's jumping. Gerald doesn't even like footy that much. I reckon he's going to be a North supporter. Everyone in the comments, uh, yeah, get around it. And get around. See how many comments we can get. People think flag roos on the socials, on the YouTube. <laughs> The person whose comments gets the most likes, I don't know, we'll give you a shout out next year. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll give a shout out on any, some, some on yeah. the socials. We could do a little social clip of, we could do a social clip of all the comments or something Maybe. like that. Maybe. That'll yeah. take a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's all right. You can do it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> all right. I think that's it for AFLW today. Uh, thank you very much for jumping on, thank Olivia. Thank you. Hey, for your stats guy, Flag Ruse, mate. Flag Ruse. Uh, we actually got that through that pretty quick, but we did. there was a lot to go through, but we still got through mm-hmm. it all. Thank you very much to Gerald behind the camera. Make sure you check out all of our other shows. That's Cricket Today, uh, which is going three times a week yes, now. Yes, cricket. We're very excited for that. So I'm hosting that one as well if you want to see us on there. Football today, we're doing a lot of EPL and Matildas content. Yep. What's going on with the Matildas? Oh, Olivia? they suck. Don't want to talk about them? <laughs> no one talk about them. <laughs> if you want to hear my opinions, go on the social. Oh, okay. Uh, then we've got NBA Australia and NFL Australia. Jim's absolutely fired up on them for the NBA Cup in NBA and NFL's heating up as well. Hold all tickets is just every Thursday. So make sure you follow over those across all the socials. Get around AFLW today on the socials as well because we're going to be doing yep. a lot of content from the grand final, a lot of little videos, a bit of a vlog. Anyway, I think that's it. We'll that's catch it. you. Oh, there's no more footy. We won't no more catch footy. you. We'll catch you next year. Next year. Oh. Oh. We'll Cry. see you on the socials, so yeah. make sure you keep looking at the socials. But yeah, footy isn't back, but the flag rules are. I think that's it. That's AFLW Today out. Oh, shit.